I'm going to show you exactly how you can update the firmware on a Godox product. They don't make it easy to do. Don't worry though, we'll get through it. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech Godox has just released a firmware update for their X1TF and X-Pro-F wireless flash triggers. However, if you own any other Godox product, such as the TT685 or the TT350 speedlights, you should check and see if there is a firmware update available to you. You sometimes have to go through a series of steps just to figure out what current firmware version that you're running. For example, if you have the X2T transmitter, you can simply press the the menu button. However, on the TT685, you actually need to hold down the zoom control function button for a few seconds until you see this screen right here. The first thing you see when you get to the Godox download page is a series of three grids or three sections of the page. You have one at the top right here, then there's a gap, and then there's another one, then there's a gap, then there's another one. Those are the different various firmware updates. However, the reason that there are three distinct sections on this download page is that just to install the firmware, you need to install a little piece of software from Godox that you download from this page, and which item of software you download depends upon where your device is located on this page. Yeah, I know. If you happen to have a Godox TT685F, right? There it is right there. That speed light is located in this top grid. And what you have to be sure that you pay attention to is what it says right here. Please install Godox G1, right, before upgrading the firmware. Well, G1 is located right here. Here. You get the firmware update installer at the top row of each of those three grids, and the one that you get is only applicable to the software that's in that grid. So for example, if you have an X2TF, there it is right here. This is in the third grid. So if you look in the third grid, there's your installer. You got to use the G3. A number of Godox products will only be able to have their firmware upgraded if you're using a PC. In other words, they don't make a firmware installer for the Mac. If you look at this page right here, the top two grids, that's all the products here, and all the products here will only work on a Windows machine to install the firmware upgrade. If you look down on the last grid, okay, that covers a number of these products, you'll see that they have both a Mac OS and a Windows version of the installer. The problem is it only works for the products on that third grid on this page. And this absolutely sucks for Mac users because to get around this, you only have a few options. First, if you happen to have a PC laying around, great, use that and get the Windows version and you're good to go. And lastly, there are some command line monkeying around that you can do. I would not try one of these workarounds. It's a lot more hassle than it's worth. For this demo today, I'm gonna update the X2T, but the procedures that I'm gonna show you will work on all of the Godox products. Okay, so I'm gonna download the Windows version right here. And if you get this annoying message that says it cannot open an RAR file, here's how you fix that. Go to Google and type in 7-zip. Download a program called 7-zip. What you can do is right click it and use 7-zip to open the archive. And you'll see it right there and you can drag it onto your desktop and there it is. Not exactly user-friendly software, I'll tell you. Go ahead and run the exe file and you'll see this lovely screen right here. So now it's saying open file. Well, you gotta now go get the firmware. So go back to the Godox site and look for your product. Remember though that your product needs to be in the same grid as the installer that you had downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. There it is again, also in an RAR file. I'll drop it onto my desktop. Now I can't just go and open the RAR file from here. I have to unpack it like the others, which I'm going to do. Right click it, open with 7-zip, open archive. You're looking for the BIN file. There it is. Drag that onto your desktop. Now you have the BIN. That's the file that you want. That's the firmware itself. I'm gonna go ahead and click on open file, going to my desktop, there it is. I'm opening it there, wonderful. Okay, now you have the firmware file connected to the installer. You simply need to now connect your Godox device to your computer. Let's see what happens. 
Now, <laughs> I'm going to save you so much hassle and headache that this portion of this video is worth its weight in gold, okay? In order to get your Godox device to connect to your computer, are you listening? In order to get your Godox device connected to your computer, you need to remove the batteries. Don't ask me why, but that is what will work. Then connect it to your computer. You should see a device connected indicator right here. So you got your device connected and you've opened up the bin firmware file. Now you simply click the update button and you wait for the little green line to go all the way through. You should see an update device success message. You can disconnect your unit and put your batteries back in it, of course. All right, let's see. Press the menu button. Version 1.1, you see that there? Have a look at that. If you're confused by any of this, welcome to the club. <laughs> Rewatch this video, go to Google, do some searches, because you're not gonna find much help from Godox, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. Lastly, I just wanna say that if you're using a Godox product and it's working great for you, there's absolutely no reason to install a firmware update. Don't do it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, if there is a feature that has just been released that you would like and you can afford a little bit of time and a medium amount of frustration, well, hopefully less now that you've watched this video, go ahead and give the Godox firmware update installer a try. Have at it. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it for me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend. For those of you in the United States, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. Have a great and restful weekend. Get out and take some wonderful photos. And I'll see you next week. Take care.